Hi guys, Mike here and in this clip we're going to have a look at the ASUS G75V and I'm going to show you that this device is actually very very fast. Uh, the version we're having here is the most powerful that will be available at least in the first part of the year and it comes equipped with this uh, Ivy Bridge Intel Core i7 3720QM processor clocked at 2.6 GHz and uh, it also comes with 16 gigabyte of, uh, of uh, RAM it comes with uh, 256 gigabyte uh, SSD storage and besides this you also have NVIDIA's GeForce GTX uh, 670M graphics uh, with uh, 72 gigabyte per second bandwidth and 3 gigabyte of uh, dedicated video memory have all the details over here and of course more details are available in the written review so this is indeed a very powerful machine and I'm just going to quickly show you some benchmark results for instance we have here Cinebench and uh, it's 11.5 it's very very fast you can see that it's way faster than all the other uh, devices listed over here this is of course 3D Mark Vantage performance. This is not for the 3D uh, option. Yeah, so this is uh, the score you're going to get without the 3D option um, set on. Of course, 3D Mark 11, a lot of points as well. 3D Mark 11 Extreme, and uh, this is the Windows rating. It have a 7.4 Windows rating lows for the graphics, but it's still very very fast. It's a uh, very very big score it's pretty much uh, towards the top at 7.9 is the maximum score you can get and these are the temperatures this is uh, these are the idle temperatures this is what you should expect and when playing games you're going to see that this device is not going to get very hot either and this is the PC mark vantage score of course uh, all these uh, PC mark scores are affected by the fact that this one is running an SSD and it's a very fast SSD you can see here that the maximum and minimum transfer rate are very very high definitely higher than what you are going to get on cheaper SSDs uh, available in stores of course there is also a 750 gigabyte hard drive for all the other things you're going to store on this device and of course this can also play video content all kinds of video content it can output it and I'm only going to show you just one thing I'm going to show you that you can play MKVs 40 megabits per second 1080p MKVs we have them over here and we're going to use Windows Media Player Classic Home Cinema and you can see that it's playing them flawlessly seeking is very very fast and that's with DXVA activated so you will be able to play all these kinds of content without a problem uh, content from I don't know from YouTube content from Netflix Hulu HD all these kinds of, uh, of videos will be playable on this machine without a problem of course the most important part of uh, such a machine is the its ability to play games and I'm going to show you a couple of games here with fraps activated and uh, most of these games will be uh, running in full HD resolution with highest details possible of course uh, without actually using the 3D option because it won't uh, it won't show properly on the screen if you want to see the results for using uh, 3D uh, tests you're going to have to go to the written review there is a, a description there is a link in the description below check it out for more details for more benchmark results till then let's go ahead and see some of the games first game we're, we're trying here is Need for Speed Shift 2 and you can see that we have all these details set to high, vSync off and it's uh, native resolution and uh, with that in, uh, in place let's go ahead and play a quick race I'm going to see that everything is going to run incredibly smooth Well, I'm not really good at this game, so don't be laughing at uh, my performances. But uh, you can see that I have a, a steady about 40 frames per second, so the game is uh, definitely playable. And the details are looking very good. 
probably if I get a lot of uh, opponents, I'm going to to get a little bit uh, lower frames per second. But uh, overall. This is definitely playable, so there's nothing I can complain about when running this game. Okay, so that was just Need for Speed Shift. Another game is coming in just a second. The second game we're trying here, it's uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops. And you can see that once again all the details are set to maximum, maximum resolution. So pretty much all the, the, pretty much the best quality you can get you can see that everything is looking very very good here and we have a steady I mean about ab above 70 frames per second you can see that in that right corner so everything is looking very good here and the game is more than playable and you can also play this game in 3d mode as well Okay. We can't wait any longer. So I managed to get in. Objective completed. Give us cover, Mason. Okay, so the action is actually... Intense, and you can see that I can play it without a problem. I'm also showing you that this game can be played in... Uh, with high details, uh, with uh, 3D activated. However, it's not going to be uh, that smooth. You can see that I have about 20 frames per second in this mode. So it's not really the best experience you could expect here. And of course, probably not going to understand uh, many things from this clip because you're going to have to use this, which are the 3D screens. And you can see that if you're using the glasses, Everything is looking a lot better here. The next game is of course Crisis and uh, we don't uh, run it in 3D mode anymore but this is native resolution and hardcore graphics. So details are set towards maximum. So you can see that uh, I'm having about 26 to 30 frames per second which is actually decently good considering we are native resolution and hardcore settings. Of course it means the game will not be playable in 3D with, uh, with this configuration. So if you want to use play it in 3D, you're probably going to have to uh, take the details a bit down. But overall, this game is playable. Despite barely having 30 frames per second, I would say that uh, it's, uh, it's overall okay. Okay, so that was Crisis 2. The next game we're running is of course Dirt. Three. and this is a very interesting game as well 
Once again, details are set to maximum, high resolution, and going to go straight to the race. Not really good at this gate either. Should be alright. And you can see that I have about 50 frames per second, so it's uh, it's running very smoothly here. There's actually nothing I can say wrong about how this game is playing. Let me go ahead and try to hit one of these trees. Okay, okay, it was an artifact. I did this intentionally, so don't go ahead and laugh at me in the comments. Okay, so you can see that uh, the graphics are actually looking quite nice on this game, and the game is playable, and you can also play it on high details uh, with uh, 3D activated. Alright, so the final game I'm going to show you here is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Once again, details are set to maximum native resolution. And let's go ahead and play this game. Getting about 40 frames per second, so it's actually... It's actually running smoothly here. And you will be able to play this game smoothly with, uh, with 3D activated as well. So the action is quite uh, quite intense in this game, and overall everything is running extremely smooth here. Okay, and uh, after running all these games, let's go ahead and open hardware monitor. Should tell us a couple of things about temperature. So yeah, about around 60 degrees. The area above the keyboard, it's a little bit hot, but it's not very, very hot. So overall, you saw that all these games are actually running decently. Uh, even with the highest details uh, and the native resolution, of course, if you want to use the 3D mode, not all of these games will be able to run in similar conditions. For instance, Crisis and maybe Black Ops uh, should... Uh, should uh, uh, should run better uh, if you're going to to trim down the details a bit but still you will be able to play all these games in native resolution and don't forget these are late some of the latest titles if you want to run um, i don't know 
uh, some of last year's games uh, then you will have no issues with those so overall this uh, device is quite powerful the G75 and the entire platform the Core i7 processor and the Nvidia GTX 670M it's uh, faster than uh, what uh, than it was before than the previous generation uh, hardware with uh, the previous generation Core i7 Sandy Bridge and Nvidia 560 that we tested on the uh, Asus G74 so if you want a decent, decently priced uh, uh, gaming laptop this is an option it will go for 2000 bucks and uh, 2000 bucks uh, for the top version the cheaper versions will be slightly uh, less powerful they will have uh, poorer specs but they'll go for 1500 of course if you want uh, even more power there will be options from Alien, alienware or clevo but not not for this kind of money so that's why I, i'd say that the g75v it's a very very uh, good option if you're looking for uh, solid performances uh, for a decent price more details are of course available in the video review for the ASUS G75 and uh, there is the written review in the description below so in the end don't forget thumbs up it's gonna help us a lot so don't forget to press it um, over there beneath the clip and uh, also stay tuned subscribe we have plenty of other clips uh, uh, that should be quite interesting for you guys uh, coming in the next couple of weeks thanks a lot that was Mike with the ASUS G75V and its uh, performances and gaming abilities